The winner of this game in the driver's seat will go to 2-0. and Acker takes a first pitch strike from Patrick Wicklander, who's outing in the SEC tournament against Vanderbilt. Strikes out Acker off to a terrific start. There are six teams in the conference in a normal year. Two out base runner, Schwellenbach works the walk. 22nd pitch of the inning. Fly ball, center field. Franklin going back, makes the catch, inning over. A two-out walk, nothing doing for Nebraska. Arkansas coming to the plate in the home first after we complete game three hitter against Indiana. Fly ball well hit, left field. Going back, still going back, and this one is out of here. Matt Goodhart leads off the bottom of the first inning with a solo home run. His 13th on the season. But 99th on the year for the Razorbacks, and one batter in, they're up 1 nothing. Well, Steve, I was just about to say, Goodhart is not your typical leadoff hitter. This guy is up there trying to do damage, showing you, look, that's power to all fields going to opposite field, left center, just gets enough of it. Home run number 99 on the year for the Razorbacks, and that's 13 home runs out of the leadoff spot. Call the Hogs early. Slapping hands with third base coach Nate Thompson. But it seemed like every choice he could have made, you said Arizona, Oregon, huge punch out right there. Throw down to first base, the runner Wallace back in. But say Lancaster is where. Oh, great pitch right there. Fastball spotted. And Franklin, you can tell, not comfortable after that foul ball off the chick had a three run home run with Nebraska down 4 0 in the fourth inning last night. Serves that one into center field. One out base runner. Second base runner for Nebraska. Goes up in the zone, picks up the strikeout, his second. Two outs in the inning. Part of USA Baseball's program during his high school days. Bouncer towards second base. Moore takes care of it. And that takes care of Nebraska here in the second. Touch on Wicklander when he takes the mound. That had to feel good for the Chippewas. Up the middle, base hit. Charlie Welch, leadoff man aboard here in the second for the Razorbacks. But, but yesterday, 14 plate appearances. They reached base 10 of those 14 times and scored eight runs. So. You can't think about just because you got through the big power numbers to start trying to put on cruise control all the time. Walked up. Two on with one down. Better than that bleached look, the bleach blonde look. Yeah, that was big back in the day. Base hit for Webb in the left field. Rounding third well. The throw comes into third. RBI base hit for Webb as he picks up his 15th run batted in on the season. And the Razorbacks now lead two to nothing. Yeah, more production from the bottom of that lineup. The nine hole hitter, Braden Webb. Just continuing to just be able to turn over the lineup. That's a break ball. It's going to be down. Goes out and gets it. And he's tried to throw in. Roach has tried to throw the fastball in. We saw him in battles on the 3 2 pitch. But if he's not calling for strikes, Arkansas hitters basically are just, those, you know, throughout the, the biggest part of it until um, Buns came in and gave up his runs. It was huge for Nebraska. Fly ball, left field. Mojo Hagee lines it up, makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Battles come to the score. Wallace gets the job done. Three nothing Razorbacks. Pitcher of the year in the SEC. Fly ball, right center field, well hit. Hallmark coming in and makes the catch. And the sack. Then the Razorbacks. To close it out on Sunday. Same for Nebraska. Second, nothing else doing. Acker chases one up in the zone. Back to back strikeouts here in the third for Patrick Wickland. Programs always in Omaha. Remember Mark Kotze. Um, just teams every single year were out there and just fun team to watch just the way they played. Called strike three, inning over. He strikes out three in the inning. Power and its true pop. Franklin out on strikes for the second time. Both times going down looking. 
Another team, you know, you probably would have wanted to be with the Braves after having all those guys up there, but a nice breaking ball by Roach finish off this inning. Found against Schwellenbach, finally struck him out looking. Right side, Moore. Inning over. One, two, three, go the Cornhuskers. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Arkansas three, Nebraska nothing. Sometimes it just doesn't feel good, and you have to kind of feel yourself a way through that, that inning. But right now, it looks like he's much better under control. The rhythm, the, the, the breaking ball, it has. Wrapped on the ground. Roscoe just taking over at third. That one may have gone off his glove and a two out base runner as Schwellenbach picks it up in short left field. Eight up on Louisiana Tech, two nothing. This one lined in the right center field for a base hit. And going first to third is Webb. And something stirring for the Razorbacks with two outs here in the fourth inning. Roscom at third base. Fires across, inning over. Wind strands two. We go to the fifth. Arkansas up 3 0 on Nebraska. So enroll in campus and we go 99. So uh, you know, chose right was a good start. Nice breaking ball by Wicklander for a punch out. Do that is because they don't want guys getting drafted. Yeah, we'll touch on this inning again. That's again, what an outing so far. That last two innings by Wicklander finishing with a punch out. The smoking guns right there from the Arkansas fan. Wicklander, another zero, up 3 nothing in Fayetteville. Franklin caught looking on strikes. His first two at bats drops the back, gets rid of the shin guard, works the one out walk. National seed for the first time in school history. A walk to Welch, and that puts two runners on. Two walks in the inning now for Nebraska pitching. To see Wise. Strikeout, opens down, swinging for the second time in the ball game. 2084 announced on Friday against NJIT. Acker aboard with a base hit. He'd been 0 for 2 at the plate with a couple of strikeouts, and the leadoff man aboard here in the sixth inning. He said, You know what? I need the next batter to come up here. Picks up the strikeout, his first. Into left field for a base hit. Webb up with it. He'll toss it to second base. Coming in to score is Hacker. Nebraska on the board with a two out base hit here in the sixth inning. And now trailing three to one. Nice job right there by Roscoe. That ball's just out over the plate. Does a good job of staying on it and just kind of shooting that ball to right field. And Acker, lots of speed out there. And I think Brayden Webb, Brayden Webb does a great job of High chopper. Battles the shortstop behind the bag. Throws out. Everett, and the inning is over. Nebraska on the board with a run here in the sixth inning. They strand a run. Round ball deep short. Schwellenbach across the diamond. And the leadoff man aboard his battles is able to beat it out. <laughs> media and all those things right. to know if it was being talked about. Um, you know, that's a thing was nice, you know, can stand the bases loaded. It goes to the backstop. The walk forces in a run as battles comes into score. Wallace moves up. He's now at third. Smith. That one gets through the catcher and goes to the backstop. The throw. Schwellenbach backs up the play. Throws behind the runner third. As Wallace scores, Smith able to dance back in there as he got back into the bag. That's a nice heads up play by Sch Schwellenbach to be able to back up that play. A lot of times the catcher comes in, he's trying to get the get to the pitcher quickly, and so you'll see an errant throw. Just almost like he lost concentration right there off the tip of the glove and just tries to get it quick. So that would have been a way for Arkansas to steal another run, and Schwellenbach there almost gets that out at the backside of it. It's Arkansas. Lost him. His third straight walk, and again, the bases are loaded.
to bat of this regional as he bats for Welch on the ground second base inning over damage done five one Arkansas show a little frustration if you want to call it that fair ball down into the corner and played back in that throw coming in offline actually hits off chick who's in with a double to start things off Opitz apply the tag second strikeout for Kevin Copps Matthews back to the dugout which is yesterday 38 this will be 39 today picks up the strikeout the there Battles aboard again. This game would be out of you know out of hand. Fly ball center field. Hallmark takes care of it. Two runs. Even an opposing hitter. This one up the middle out of the reach of Battles. A one-out single for Hallmark, who talked about going up against Rivera and facing that cutter. You know, it's just like anything. If you want to run fast, you got to run fast. If you stop running fast, you see they're trying to wait on it. They can't do it right there. But if you try to pitch out through 80% of the time. Roscombe, RBI base hit against Cops in the sixth inning. Retired here by Cops. A one-out single, nothing else doing. Seven and a half of the Bucks. Arkansas, 5-1. Series twice under Dave Van Horn with the Cornhuskers as a player. Hit on the ground and fair inside the bag. And down into the left field corner. Moore on his way to second. The throw comes in. And a two out base runner as Moore picks up the double, his ninth on the season. Moore, a two out double. He's at second. Called strike three. Bates out of there. Two strikeouts in the inning for Martin as he does a solid job over an inning and two thirds. Down to shortstop to end the sixth inning against Cops. One down here in the ninth inning. NC stayed up 8 3 on Louisiana Tech. Back to back strikeouts for Cops here in the ninth inning. 2021. Bryce Matthews on the ground. Third base. Fire across the diamond in time. Arkansas picks up the win against Nebraska. Arkansas moves, it, moves into the regional final on Sunday. They win 5 1, now 2 0. And they're on to their 19th regional final and their fourth in a row.